Paranoid, delusional, and eccentric are just some of the ways to describe Eric McCormack's character, Dr. Daniel Pierce, in the hit show Perception. That's right, but now in season two, we'll finally get to see a different side to this very complex professor. Take a look. Billy Flynn gave himself a prefrontal lobotomy. I'm not following. This magic bullet, it didn't affect his sight, his speech, his motor function, or cognition. Well, then we're good. Not so fast. The bullet did scramble a whole series of synapses in his prefrontal cortex associated with personality expression. So? The Flynn that I examined is a completely different person from the one that killed his wife. Well, and Eric is here. Like Eric, that. I have to ask you, are you as smart as your character? My <laughs> goodness. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I'm an actor. That is great uh, acting. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun part. I, I mean, I, I get to say stuff. I, I got I to gotta look a lot of stuff up before. I, I bet you do as you go through your scripts. No, it must be a lot of fun to play it's, this character. It's great. Yeah. He's a paranoid schizophrenic, and he has a lot of hallucinations, and it's fun for the audience because as we're watching, we're trying to figure out, is this person he's talking to real? Right. Yeah. Or, and I love and that And he's trying to figure show. that out, too. That's right. the fun part. Is yeah. Sometimes, like at one point, this, this season, Judd Hirsch is going to play Sigmund Freud. Like, yeah, love I mean, that. So from moment one, I'm pretty sure that I'm hallucinating him. But other times, you know, a whole, there could be a whole episode where the, the key person in, in, the, in the plot was never there. Yeah. And, and which is very disturbing. But at the same time, Pierce, being a neuroscientist, being a guy that has taken this on and thought, I could take my meds. I probably should take my meds. Yeah. But you know what? I like who I am, and I'm, I, and I like embracing this and, and, and this challenge in my life. So it's, it's, he's a challenging character that way. Yeah, and <laughs> functioning as a professor all at the same time. Right, <laughs> and, and and that's actually going to be a plot point this season: the fact that you know he's in front of a classroom, and, yeah. and his the, the students in his class. They know he's kind of interesting and quirky. They don't fully know his diagnosis. And right. when that comes out, that's going to be a challenge to his job. Right. But I think it's a great question to ask because, uh, you know, a person that was a very influential uh, person for me, uh, Dr. Ellen Sachs, yeah. who's a law professor at USC, at USC uh, has been living with paranoid schizophrenia for 30 years. She's, uh, you know, a, a tenured professor. She's so high functioning. And to have someone like that and say, well, look, it, it, not everybody that has this disorder is right. going to lose their livelihood or lose their family. It's great to show that side of yeah, and a lot of uh, paranoid schizophrenics actually think that they don't need the medication, so that's a com it's, common yeah, struggle. Yeah, it's, it's a real roller coaster because when you're on them, you feel better, but yeah. the more you feel better, the more you think you don't need them. So we, we start the season, you're in the hospital, you're kind of a mess, but very soon uh, into the, the first episode of the second season, you get it together. Yeah, several months have passed since the, the, the last episode uh, of, of the last season in which he really had had a serious mental breakdown. And he's much better, and yeah. he's dating. That's I mean, the thing, that's you have a love interest I have now. a love interest, and the cool thing, I think the, 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 if people have Is she been real? fans, well, that's the thing. She <laughs> looks exactly like the woman that he's been hallucinating right, for 25 yes. years because uh, he based everything he'd ever thought of this of this uh, uh, really hallucinated character, uh, Natalie, was based on a woman he saw across a crowded room. Yeah. And and when he meets that woman in the flesh, we basically ask the question, you know, do you do you want your fantasy to come true? Because be careful what you wish for; yeah. it might not be as good as as it was in your brain. Yeah, mm. it's so complex. Yeah, it is. It is. So, you know, we, we can't let you get away without talking about the time that you spent on one of our favorite shows. Right. Will and Grace. Will and Grace. Sure. I mean, and I understand, I think you tweeted a, a picture of yourself in uh, the dentist's office or something, <laughs> oh, and it was playing in the that? background. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you, like, over this? Because every time it comes on, we love to watch Will and Grace. No, I'm not over at all. I, I love. Do you I watch it at home, like, sometimes I if it comes know, on? I didn't see it as much when it was airing. You know, you'd see it once, but yeah. now I, the reruns are fun, because I don't remember them. You really? know, I, mean, I, don't, I don't remember half of what we said, so it's really <laughs> great to, to, to laugh along. But that was, yeah, you know, I was getting root canal. <laughs> <laughs> and there it was on the screen. It was me. Uh, the, the Will was wrapped in a towel. He wasn't going to work or something. And it was it was just hysterical. <laughs> it was an hysterical coincidence. There's so much more we would like to talk to you about. Yeah, you can come back. All right, I'll catch you All right. Okay, so great. We, we love you. We love you. Well, you can catch Eric in the season premiere of Perception tonight, tonight. at 10 p.m. on we're TNT. Have you shot the whole season so already? We're, we're three days away from finishing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so you okay, give so us you know scoop in the commercial break. All right.